This college football picks conference championship edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Bet Rivers. Claim your risk free bet up to $500 over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash bet rivers. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash bet rivers. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hrofbets.com and use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by Factor Meals. Head to factormeals.com slash SGPN50 and use code SGPN50 to get 50% off. Plus, this Monday and Tuesday, everything is 20% off in the merch store with the promo code CYBER. Store.sportsgamblingpodcast.com, promo code CYBER. Hey, this is LeGarrette Blunt, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner and picks Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog, Colby, get Bud Foster on the horn. <laughs> oh yeah, got to talk about my Hokies. I don't care about the teams playing this weekend. Really, I gotta be honest. Scratch the entire rundown. Do you we're, see that talent video? We're Brad just Pry did? we're just talking about Coach Pry. We're talking about the return of the program. We're talking about how fun it's going to be next ooh, year to talk ooh. about drone strikes. Mm. Having a quarterback named Drones, uh, beautiful, but so, <laughs> beautiful. Anyway, yeah, dropped fifty-five points on UVA. They can suck it once again. Uh, what happens every year, with the exception of Justin Fuente years? They beat UVA. <laughs> Death taxes nice and UVA sucks. Hokey fans rush the field in Charlottesville. Now wait, I thought you were I thought you were against that. What do you mean taking over someone's stadium? No, rushing the field when you're not like when it's not a crazy When you upset. skull fuck your rival and their entire fan base has mm. left oh, okay. the stadium. Uh, you know, uh, where's where's your uh, Colorado? Yeah. Hey man, you want to play the hacky sack rush the field? Mm. Because mm. The, who did they beat? Colorado State. That's who a rival. Beat? Oh, come on. You don't you don't Insane rush State rival. They were yeah. down. That's the it was one of their four wins. It's not a power five team. That's that's completely different. Still uh, their rivals. Still their rivals. Got to do it every time. Got to do it every time. All right. Hey. Uh, Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> not letting you get the last word. Disagree. All right. By so, the way, SGPN pheasants. That's our that's our mascot. Pheasants. Yeah. I don't know. Pheasants. How is there not a pheasant? We didn't. Me and Kramer I, just thought. I of am. It. I'm not going to be an animal that's regularly hunted by yeah. drunk hillbillies. There's a. There's a. There's a. <laughs> we're the pheasants. That should be a, pheasants. The pheasant. <laughs> there's a pheasant season where uh, you get fucking lit up. Come on, Colby. We're, no top, we're, we're lit up like drinking. You got to use that. All right. Let's get lit up. Food. It's pheasant season, baby. You know. Let's what? get lit up. I understand why they use the same <laughs> names over and over again. Yeah. Because, because there's only so many apex no, bears. No, 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 no one ever uses the fucking polar bears. All, All right. right, I'll I'll do that one. This is the SGP and polar bears. Honestly, the grizzly bears. Not even. Montana. Uh, only one. Vancouver. Luckily, we don't have to talk about Montana football uh, on this episode. Just kidding. We got FCS playoffs as well as college football conference championships. Are you not excited? No, I'm excited. FCS playoffs. Remember that year they did it in the spring and we loved it. No, I and I would go back to I I Stone Lebanovitz, one of our best friends. Yeah, love the Stone, entire world. Loved FCS football, but honestly, when it's competing with NFL and regular college football, it is tough to get into it as we, I think we figured this out. What do you out. mean regular college football? You keep it in the Teams winter. I know. You keep it in the the fall and winter, but you play them on weeknights. Okay. Yeah, if it's like a match and type thing, yeah. I like that. It needs its own island. I I Friday still night, think I, high yeah. school. Yeah. I still I I would honestly wa- much rather watch FCS than uh, whatever spring uh, extreme United uh, American football of, of the Star so Spangled. Sh- that's a shot at the AAF right no, there. I, Alliance <laughs> football. I hey, I, I will watch it cuz it's football, but of of the leagues, FCS in the spring was far and away my favorite. Yeah, it fe- feels like a disadvantage. Well, I mean, because they have, they have home it seems teams. like you're coming to the realization that college is always better than pro. 
Uh, well, when, when, when that's <laughs> uh, that's what that's what I got from that. No, no, well, saying, they don't have they don't have home field. They don't have fans. They don't have tradition. He, he's saying. Uh, I mean, minus the beer snake, there isn't one spring or uh, having the league collapse. There are no other spring football traditions. Yeah. Those are the only that was two. A, that was a fun Going one bankrupt year. That, and having the uh, beer snake. That was a fun year of the Rock owning a league. <laughs> one year, Co- college football is greater than semi-pro football. I'm calling yeah. spring football semi pro. Is that semi pro football? I think if you're if the average player is working another job, it's if semi-pro. no one has figured out how to keep the a league afloat, <laughs> are you really making money? Wait a second here though. There's I mean Aaron Hernandez is working another job. What Whack. are you talking about? He was whacking people. Oh jeez. You know what I mean? Wow. Colby's getting dark. Go. He's really trying to win the argument. M- Michael Vick wasn't making many any money off those dogs. He's trying to win yeah. that first. Tell me he wasn't hard. making any money off those dogs. Oh, I guarantee he was making money. I don't think he was like hands on. John Elway dogs. wasn't doing fucking course commercials for twenty years. Well, I mean, he was. Brett Favre's got some type of elaborate, uh, you know, uh, Southern Miss mm. Mississippi. Uh. I got to be honest. Brett Favre's never been a, a part of anything elaborate in his entire <laughs> life. So whatever that scheme was was simple as fuck. Which he's is doing why, Wranglers commercials too. Which is why he's caught on tape on a phone. Um, the yeah, anyway. shout out to Smith happens in the YouTube chat. Finally made a CFB show oh, live. Wow. Love it. Love you. Uh, Smith happens. Oh, Cody whoa. from TV. Hold, hold on. Smith happens. Look at this profile picture. Anytime you got a profile picture with ski goggles on. Oh yeah. I'm 100% in <laughs> and, it, and it appears like a, ma- one of those the guys who will get that, penetration. Is that a mountain dew bottle with, with in there. Well, Cody uh, from TAV in the chat also said he's super jacked up off mountain dew. Oh wow. Love the energy. Love the passion. Just straight up or, no, or are they going code red? <laughs> Can I tell? Code him? Red, I think, was or Baja Blast is ultimate. And, and I don't guys, know that I've ever had Baja Blast. Oh, really? But. Back in my Taco Bell days, that was. I mean, <laughs> oh. in my twenties, when we were roommates <laughs> in the Burbank the last time house, you did Taco Bell. Probably in my twenties, probably like a decade, and when you, we would, I would get Baja Blast oh. and put vodka in that. Oh, uh, man. a little. That's, little, a, little, that's a hobo uh, uh, vodka red. Oh, all right, nice. Uh, Smith happens confirms. <laughs> and by the way, if you're in the chat, uh, please uh, profile pictures. Uh, we don't want to see just letters and colors. Yeah, I, come on. I think there's opportunity. Show off who you are. Can, can I tell a quick energy <laughs> on the? We're talking Mountain Dew here. Sure. Baja Blast, which by the way, Baja Blast is one of the most superior. <laughs> it might be the top. If I was making a list of top sodas, it's certainly going to be a top five pick for me. It, <laughs> which Dew? may shot not no. Mountain Dew. Baja Blast. But not, none of them making the top five for me. Ba- you've not had. Have you had Baja Blast? Not that I know. Of. Okay, <laughs> that's why. You know what? You know what, well, Sean? That's obscure. Sean, you're basically like a D three soda, right? Sean, there. next college basketball episode is on Thursday. Yes, I will bring Baja Blast for Colby to try. Really? You got, All right. You Baja got Baja like Blast that. Taste test? Can we do the Pepsi challenge with the uh, Mountain Dews? <laughs> I will bring in Baja Blast, and you will can love you, it. Can you put three in a shot glass, and I'll right. and I'll, t- I'll try to guess I, which one's which? I got a quick energy drink story. Okay, since we're on the topic of Mountain, did you Dew. ever tell your uh, your off roading story? I didn't. I'll, I'll okay. tell that on the NFL show. Okay. Um, it I, I'll tease it by saying I I may have a, a callback to Shula's for those Ooh. who remember the, the steakhouse, the Ohio <laughs> steakhouse. Oh, right. Used to have one of those in Baltimore. It's the most throw up I've seen out of a man in a long time. <laughs> Uh, so yes, th- imagine that in the middle of nowhere. Whoa! Are you all right? Whoa! So, uh, Whoa! I mean, Ryan, Ryan is, you could say Ryan's in the hall of fame considering how much DNA he left all over the uh, parking lot at Chula's. Uh, yeah. So that plus uh, being off road in the middle of nowhere and automatic gunfire. So stay tuned to the NFL pick show for that. Energy drink. So, uh, as you know, Sean uh, worked in technology for a little bit, and and for a while I was at Hulu, which they fancy themselves a hip technology company, and so they did the thing where they had kegs in every floor and cold brew and like whatever soda, mm. whatever you want. Well, they also had like Red Bull, like free Red Bull everywhere. And as cost cutting measures, uh, when Overlord Disney came in, they the first thing they did was took away the Red Bull. <laughs> I kid you not. People protested. <laughs> what was the protest? These young people, they're addicted to what they didn't want. They didn't want the, we're, we'll leave. <laughs> we're going to leave. If you bring, don't bring back our Red Bull. And I, mm. I remember like being in middle management, you have to deal, like deal with this kind of stuff. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Did you, did you do, do you know how favor? much Red Bull costs? Like 
here, here's my yeah. here's my credit card. Go buy ten no, cases. No, you should have done them a favor. Like, guys, let me introduce you to cocaine. No, 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 no. This is cheaper. You sure? Uh, Red Bull is like three bucks a pop. <laughs> Gets you through the day with Stuff like twenty. In LA, you get it's all cut with every. Oh, yeah. oh, Colby knows. Oh, we well. can do we can do a cocaine review anyway. as well, Colby. Oh, wow. <laughs> And oh, look at this, Shane! Oh, Shane, looking like a male model. Yes, great, amazing headshot, I, Shane. By the way, I'm loving the photo. Uh, make sure everyone has a profile picture, please. I, can hey, I get that bigger? He's there saying, "Give me that pretzel crust dipped in <laughs> that, Baja." And dude, blast me Sh- off. Shane's picture looks like like the back of a novel. <laughs> I mean, like he just wrote Shane, romance, yeah, airport yeah. romance <laughs> novel. Yeah. <laughs> Where the, running waters meet the love that right? couldn't the, the love that went wrong in the off season. Shane, he ranches up in Wyoming. Mm. Mm. It all happened down by the river. I assume that's what rich people say when they go to their ranch. Hey, speaking of rivers, we're brought to you today by Bet Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Bet Rivers is available in oh. over 14 states plus Ontario, Canada. Love our Ooh. good buddies up north and Bet Rivers. Some of the best live betting markets in the space. Uh, their betting menu second to none, including ton of props, ton of live uh, live betting. I mean, if you were live betting that Monday night game, uh, you you probably could have uh, came out all right if you just kept hammering the under in the Bears Vikings game. Uh, depositing withdrawing super easy. Uh, highly recommend getting that uh, second chance bet up to five hundred dollars. Sign up using our link to get a risk free bet up to five hundred dollars. All you got to do is go to sportsgamblingpodcast dot com slash bet rivers. That's sportsgamblingpodcast dot com slash bet rivers. Problem gambling? Call one eight hundred Gambler. And we're also brought to you by Little C's. Love me some Little Caesars. Uh, they have Pepsi products. I cannot guarantee. That they have Mountain Dew or Mountain Dew Baja Blast, but I will I will talk to uh, uh, Nero over there and and make sure they get some of these uh, delicious Pepsi products because it's not a pizza pizza pregame without that pepperoni pretzel crust pizza with that goldeny brown with those nice little thin chunks of salt piled onto the crust. It is it it just surrounds. It's like a python of flavor surrounding that pepperoni pizza goes down super smooth. Love a, 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 any sort of pregame post game. It's all great with little C's, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL get delivery or our in-store pizza portal pickup, grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars pizza, pizza, Python, a Python. Mm. How about that one? The Wait, SGPN yes. pythons. Do we? Yes, sir. That's all. That's excellent for so many reasons. It's also a very. Uh, it's also an amazing programming language. Didn't Hulk Hogan <laughs> call, call his uh, his arms pythons? No. It's a, it's an interesting thing to call your arms. What was that? There was like a viral clip of like somebody. Uh, this was going around Twitter X where like someone just like took a stick to their roof. Oh, and, and that giant snake comes this down. Gigantic python oh, yeah. falls down. So uh, the wife. Grew up in the Philippines early on, and yeah, that was a normal thing. They had so she lives on she she grew up on a compound or some sort of large land that had like farming area, and they had dogs that were there just to kill the snake. Dog, damn, yeah, like the snakes I, were I, no fucking joke. I mean, and the rat she described the but how field, is no one the python? Th- they had field rats the size <laughs> like fifteen yeah. pound like 10, 15 pound field. Could rat. we be the field rats, Sean? No, no python. I- <laughs> Breaking news. Ryan and I have decided we are now the Sports Gambling Podcast Network Pythons. Let's go. Get the well, guns out. What about the water moccasins? No. Pythons no. work. Think about it, right? SGP Python. Sports Gambling Pythons. Yeah. It's 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 interesting. But Pi- I need to see this logo. Listen. Oh, we will we get someone a fire on this. Logo. I'm gonna explain why. One, snakes are cool as shit. Yeah. Two, they're cold blooded. Pythons are ways to describe your sweet arm muscles. Yep. Three, Python, way to describe your giant dick. <laughs> Everything our show stands for. Do I need to go to four? No. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, also, a apex predator. Yes. Mm. All right. Pythons is so perfect. Another uh, so perfect. N- another fun fact about sports the py- gambling python. pythons. Um, I need a hissing sound effect as well. They will often grow to the size of their environment. Oh. So we are. So we're the same here at SGPN. Huh? Unlimited. Yeah, I mean, bigger. If we could only get a bigger studio, our pythons would grow. That's Fatty Caesar. <laughs> That's his plan. 
Have we? Yeah, we should. I mean, honestly, we need to have a segment. Uh, Patty C, uh, like office improvement ideas. Oh, we'll yes. come up with a clever idea. No, we need to do a oh, segment like um, he's Wilson. We got to talk to him over the fence. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's like um, what's that? Uh, the Mark Cuban where they pitch. Oh, Shark Shark Factor. Yeah, Shark Factor. No, no, Shark. Uh, <laughs> shark Tank. Shark Tank with Patty C, and it's just Patty C pitching us ideas for SGPN. <laughs> He's got some great ones where you still need the can crusher. All I, I know is the Pythons. The Pythons is a good, good name. Good name. I do think we, you know, we're, we're, we're this is official. We're going yeah. forward with the Pythons. Well, I'm already visualizing. It works too well. A, a low, a version of the SGP logo where the snake is, is somehow. <laughs> it's going to be so, so awesome. Someone who does art. Snake eyes. Someone, in the Python yeah, thing. someone uh, would know I how to it. do. Eyes. Look at, so see how the S. Can we all the, get matching tattoos? Already kind like of looks like a snake. Part of a gang. So I'm, I'm. I'm I'm hopefully not boring the audience, but see how like <laughs> S and P on the sports gaming yeah. podcast logo, oh. those become snake eyes. Oh, I like Ooh, and then I pythons like we add the underneath. G is part of the, the the Python's body wrapped up. Mm. You know what I mean? Interesting. Fangs too. The, the oh yes. the yeah. Bottom yes. Fang Fang gang here. Oh, fang gang. All right, oh, we're good. Wow. We figured it out. Colby, let's talk New Mexico State <laughs> Liberty. Uh, so we're uh yeah, let's get to the business. The Python so State. Mostly yeah, yeah. conference championship games. Some some other games as well at the end that Colby is very passionate about. Uh first up, let's over let's head over to Lynchburg, where year one of new cheating at Liberty. They're taking on New Mexico State. Uh they're referred to as the flaming libs, buddy. The flaming yeah. libs. That's I didn't want to steal your thing. Liberty laying 10 totals 54 and a half. Just realize there's no totals or no money lines in the, in the sheet. Uh, no, I got it right now. The money line is uh plus 300 for uh, New Mexico state and Jerry kill. Oh, uh, kill switch. Is that a thing? Do they, do they, I mean the Jerry kill switch, they got Diego pissing Pavia. I'm not going to fade. The former state and wrestling it's a, it's champ. A, it's a revenge spot for them. They lost uh, against Liberty. What was this back in uh, early September, thirty-three seventeen? Yeah. Now this place is probably going to be lit because this is on campus. But uh, I am a little worried that um, New Mexico State might be a public dog and have some fleas. Kramer, have you seen the uh, the money slits over on Visa? I'm um, staring at him right now. Liberty, sixty-two percent of the bets, only thirty-nine percent of the oh, money. Oh, okay. So it's sharp. New Mexico State would be the sharp side here. I mean, you got to take it. You got to take it. First off, their coach. I mean, they just beat Auburn. They looked much better against Auburn than Alabama did. Uh, then he got a tattoo of New Me- of New Mexico State's logo. In the I did see season. that. I did see that. That's gangster. Yeah, we we are officially not the Pythons until we all get matching tattoos. Oh, that'll be fun. Next time we're out in Vegas, uh, we're all gonna get. Python. We're gonna we're gonna all tattoo our Python. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that uh, I don't know if I'm gonna agree to that right now. Some of these could be binding. Verbally said in public like this, five PM. Might, on the you never know what might be offensive too. And a that was years you might have to delete that thing. <laughs> and oh, I delete. So nothing. wait, are we all Pythons could be a motorcycle gang? Are we all, in, are we all in New Mexico State? Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. I don't. I can't make a case for Liberty Lane this big of a. I know ah, it's, it's in a, Lynchburg it's, it's and it's the a lit night game. They can't drink there, so how lit can you really be mm. if you can't drink? Well, I have a feeling people in in Lynchburg, uh, Virginia, figure out a way to you, get drunk. You mean alcohol? You can't drink on campus. They it's dry def- campus. Dry they, campus. They definitely drink uh, the blood of babies. <laughs> well, it's a bunch of elites down there. You know how they do it. Oregon <laughs> heads to Vegas to, for the Pac-12, the final Pac-12 championship. Uh, pretty awesome that Oregon State and Washington State are getting all the money. Oregon, Washington, the rematch, 5 p.m. on the West Coast. It, huge spread. Sean earlier before the go show quote, wow. Well, Washington getting nine and a half points, three to one on the money line. Oregon p- minus three eighty, sixty six and a half is the total. I thought I I had a thought. I thought that Oregon might be laying a big number. I I figured that that may seven was m- more like seven and a half maybe nine and a half field does feel like a large number here. This Washington t- team feels like they have a horseshoe up their ass this year. Well, and, the, and Washington won. <laughs> Granted, it was in Washington. They won by three points. It was, it was a it was a very much a coin flip game, right? And I, I'm just trying to make sense of how this. I know it's a neutral field. Um, Colby, do you have any? Some insight? would say a dome game isn't a neutral field, but nine and a half points for. I mean, Washington won the first time, mm-hmm. and now they're getting nine and a half points. Who, what 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 angle am I missing? On who this does the price? dome help? 
I mean, they both have pretty high yeah, power. I, mean. yeah, I think they're both the same there, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, the line is really confusing. Well, the line tells me we're, like we should be betting Oregon. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Oregon is no. primed for a revenge spot, but, but by 10, but nine and a half, 10 points. Uh, that's Washington crazy. won last year and Eugene by three. But it's like, like they're all point. really close games. That's my point. Courtney love. Mm. Uh, they, mm. oh, oh, I mean, you, like everything Sean just said, it was a three point game. Washington won. It's a neutral site now. How could the line be this? What was the line in that first game? Three, I think, right? Yeah. Look it up. Yeah. I think it ended up being a push or it was really close because I think we were debating whether we got it at like two and a half or three or something. So why why is Oregon, let's just say conservatively, eight points better? Than they were. That's that's exactly no how I started no this yeah. this segment. Is there an injury you don't know about? I mean, Penix, maybe. Like, I mean, but he's still done good enough. Seventy percent of the bets on Washington, only forty nine percent of the money. I I don't think I care. I I do think Bo Nix, like this is a massive, this could, this is a nice, like you know, put this, put the stamp on the Heisman game for Bo Nix. This is an interesting nugget from uh, the bear underdogs have won three of the last four pac 12 title games. Two of the three uh, underdogs to lose outright were Oregon teams coached by Mario Cristobal in 2019 <laughs> yeah. and 2020 yeah, landings a lot better. <laughs> But at the same time, I still believe like Kalen DeBauer will have a good game plan. He's two and zero oh against Lanning for a reason. I'll take the points all day in Washington. So we're going to ignore the fact that this is just it stinks to the high hell. I just think Dude, DeBauer I mean, will be it, able to scheme guys. Yeah, open. I just don't like, see this Washington team ever packing it in. And with Penix, you can score really quick. It's going to be a high paced game. Maybe Oregon ends up winning by ten, but I. I I think Washington's going to have a shot here. I don't see it being a two score game. This feels like a one score game. I'm taking Washington. It, uh, w- it would Oregon have to like, if Oregon wins big, are they like in the playoff? Is that like both teams either way they're in, right? No, you don't think Washington is in. Dude, there's a chaotic situation in college football right now. I th- I, if Washington wins. They're in the playoff. No, oh yeah. If they win, I'm saying if Oregon wins, oh, yeah. though, they're not 100 percent in. Th- yeah. Then there's a chance the Pac-12 could be left out. I know. Yeah, that's probably what happens. Both teams have to win to make the playoffs. It isn't. Yeah, but Oregon would have to win and have some style points. It would have to be like whoa. But Washington would not get in then. They're no, playing no, no. for their whole season too. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Point. No, no. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but, but I think Washington is like no doubt win in your in, and again they're they're a team of destiny this year. I I'll I'll be taking the money line with Washington. Bottom line, as much as I, I've liked to, <laughs> wasn't this whole handicap about how you we should bet Oregon? Well, there's just talking the market dynamics. Oh, okay. I don't I, I'm not caring about that here because I think while I have fallen in love with Bo Nix as a pro prospect. I do think Michael Penix, Penix is a baller, and just watch, like watch some of the shit that Washington, the the fucking balls for them to run that play fourth down. I mean, yeah, we're gonna be out in uh, Circa because uh, this is on Friday night. Ryan. Shot, I, I, yeah, we're gonna be on this money line. We'll be, we'll, we'll be live sweating this during. Uh, actually, this will finish right, right before the the show starts, probably. So we will have Let's some extra go. juice. Miami of Ohio heads to Detroit, Michigan. To play Toledo in the MAC championship. Disgusting. 9 a.m. Why, why are you playing a championship game? That is a disgusting act. Championship games should be played on under the lights. And That's this is opinion. action. They're playing yeah. it Saturday at 9 a.m. Play it on Tuesday. You, your whole thing is playing games Tuesday and Wednesday night. And their whole thing oh, is all their places are outdoors and they go oh, to the no. fucking oh, this no. is the worst. <laughs> oh, call me. The Mac commissioner should be fired. Oh, Ryan. Call. Ryan D. Bettis wants to know Bo Nix, future uh, Giants quarterback. I'll see you. Uh, at this point in my evaluation, I wouldn't be upset with that. He's got, he's definitely got some dog in him. I mean, I think whatever he learned in the dirty uh, streets of Auburn, like whatever happened to him there, like he, he came out fucking just ready to ready to fire. He's, he's good. And he'll, he'll be a guy who's good right away. He's cause he's older. So um, which some people think that's a negative anyway, Mac championship in a dome. Colby's firing the commissioner. He's emailing uh, the the guy in charge. Yeah, uh, minus seven and a half, minus three twenty five on the money line. Miami of Ohio plus two eighty. Forty four and a half is the total. 
Toledo beat them uh, earlier in the season, 21, 17. And during that game, uh, they lost Miami, Ohio lost their starting quarterback, Brett Gabbert for the season. Uh, brother of Blaine hmm. um, Blaine runner. I still think to, I hate laying points with Toledo because they just, they kind of just play with their food against when they're a heavy favorite, <laughs> they're kind of like, oh, okay, go ahead. Score. Uh, well, it's, that's Mac, but they, they'll cap like off a 12 a, I like Miami of, of Ohio here as a dog, yeah. right? Yeah. I think yeah. Uh, Amos pretty good. Their backup quarterback, not amazing, but he's well experienced because he he started a lot last season. Avion Smith, so there is that. He did just throw two picks against Ball State and only 170 yards, but I don't know. It's a tricky game. Give me the points. Yeah, uh, it, I think these championship games kind of a season reset in some of them, especially these conferences where they're not really. What do you think a New Mexico State? Uh, Washington money line parlay would pay, and Miami of Ohio, and Miami of Ohio round robin that thing. No, then uh, I got to wake up at nine a.m. and watch this. Miami you know. It's true. You can cash tickets while you're laying down. Oklahoma State heads to Texas to take on Texas. I think Matthew McConaughey is going to need to be here. Uh, they're going to need a, all the culture. All right, all nine right. Nine a.m. It's an early kick. Get the kids going. Because Oklahoma State, uh, unclear what they've been doing the last couple of weeks, catching fourteen and a half here, plus four seventy five on the money line. Texas minus six fifty. Fifty five and a half is the total. I mean, is this a is this a real number? I of course I'm going to take Oklahoma State. They're probably going to get uh, fucking boat raced. Uh, shout out to the number one PJ fan uh, in the uh, YouTube chat saying, "Can't wait for Colby to convince you to take uh, Oklahoma oh, State, wow. fade You're Texas." Right. You're right. I'm Hold not on. doing it anymore. I, I've picked <laughs> against Texas so many times. What do you mean? You act like they're a fucking covering machine. Okay, last oh. week, <laughs> but let's not forget their what their three point win against TCU, where we covered the the Kansas State overtime game, where we covered the you Houston game, where we covered. Utah. Oklahoma game where I actually took Texas, but Oklahoma covered. Uh, get out of here with that. Yeah, Oklahoma right? State. Yeah, I'm Se- taking Texas. Good, good riddance, Texas. Gundy has won six of the last eight against Texas, and get this: the losses that have happened, overtime yeah. loss in yeah. 2020. They're not losing, right? This game. Uh, six point loss in 2019. We're gonna get right? fucking rich. All right, you're talking to me in Oklahoma <laughs> State. I don't know. Let me uh, check with the, Let me check with the guy on YouTube. Yeah, I see what the chat says. I'll, I'll give you the money split, Sean. Oh, and and they have fucking Ol- uh, the Olive Garden, Ollie Gordon, their running back. He's fucking nasty. Getting getting the bets and the money, so you know what is Oklahoma State? No, no. Okay, Oklahoma State would be one of the um, unpopular sides this week. Hmm. That's why it's a fourteen and a half point spread. I mean, the number tells you everything. How they almost lose to BYU? Were they looking ahead to this game? They didn't need it, right? Doesn't matter. Uh, no, they, I mean, they theoretically needed it because they could have a tiebreaker. They could have still lost and made it, but yeah, oh, it was like yeah. a really long shot outcome for that to happen, right? I mean, they controlled their if they won, they're in. If yeah, not, yeah, if they yeah, won, they yeah. they should have won the yeah. game, but they the chance of them losing and advancing was pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll take Oklahoma State, even though the guy in the chat said not to. I mean, it's a system. No, play. It's, it's so many points. System. D- give the Discord Texas. The and and, long and one. would you rather, if you're looking at this before and saying Texas has been that that girlfriend that always complains, Ooh. you know what I mean? That little what bitch. They're like, we need our own <laughs> little network. We need our own little network. We give you the network, right? And then they're like, no, we're still not happy. Wait. We need a larger percentage of the of the profit. You want Big Twelve's like, okay, here's have that profit, and we're still not happy. We're gonna go to the SEC. So if you got all that going on, you don't think Mike Gundy knows that? Mm. What coach would you want to have out of all of the Big Twelve coaches oh, playing Texas, knowing that? I hope. Yeah, he, send off. I like it. All yeah. right, you, you're. I'm ready to run through a brick wall. Give That's me Oklahoma crazy. State. Colby had a girlfriend who wanted wanted her, <laughs> wanted own, her own college football <laughs> network. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, you really have a type, Colby. All right, Saturday noon on the West Coast, heading back to Vegas for Boise State. This and this is the worst game of them all. Oh boy. Not being played at uh, the 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 great old. Are you guys familiar with what happened here? Are you familiar with what happened? Let, let's here? T- talk talk us. Let's imagine the audience doesn't know. Okay, Boise State's taking on UNLV. Uh, 
they should be playing the best team in the Mountain West, San Jose State. But what happened? The Mountain West, uh, since they got rid of divisions, went to this BCS formula shit. No, they did. Where, where San Jose State, who just destroyed UNLV Wait, wh- at their stadium, who also so they have a head to head. There was a three way tie. San Jose State never trailed against UNLV. One by you know uh, dominated them the entire game. I think how they lose the tiebreaker uh, because they're stupid. In there. They're stupid. Uh, <laughs> I, I actually believe it's a conspiracy because San Jose State had the toughest, the toughest schedule, like strength of schedule in the entire Mountain West. So it's like, wait a second. And UNLV also lost to Fresno. Guess know what? San Jose State beat Fresno. It makes no sense. They're doing this just for TV ra- ratings because San Jose's market <laughs> is fucking trash. I cannot believe San Jose but, State's I mean, not in the championship game here. But but, but I mean. So you, th- <laughs> I love the TV ratings. You and have a head to head. You have a fucking head to head. What what kind of conference has a he- look in the Big Twelve? You have a tiebreaker, but guess what? You know certain teams beat other teams, so you say, oh, you got to put them in. San Jose State dominated UNLV, and also if they have the same record, UNLV also lost to Fresno. San Jose State dominated Fresno State. The tiebreaker here is ridiculous. It was one of the stupidest things I've ever seen, man. All right. Colby seems I'm, re- I'm I'm They're like the hottest team in football, too. It's like they haven't lost since like fucking early October. Oh wow. So the tiebreaker was just they used the average of four rankings. Ridiculous. Absolutely but it, ridiculous. But isn't uh but I mean, so they're all six and two in the conference, but UNLV is a better record overall, right? UNLV is well, nine that and three. Matter. That, but that's my point. That doesn't matter. Is is UNLV's non-con was Bryant and UTEP. That's actually really dumb. Uh, they use they use yeah. rankings. Oh, this is they one have, of the stupidest things I've ever seen. At least have a proper yeah. three-way tie. Uh, that is unfortunate. Especially when you uh, have a head-to-head. If they don't play each other, so then you use the rankings. Sean, what happens to the team that's not supposed to be there? They win. They win the game. Give me UNLV. Running Rebs. No, Boise all day. <laughs> Oh man, the, Colby! Oh, that's personal. Colby, Colby, too much, too much emotion. No, tone, UNLV only has one back. win against tone a team with a winning record. Boys is gonna fuck them up. Tone it back. This is a home game, baby. One p.m. on Allegiant will be lit. One p.m. on the West Coast. Big game here. Big, big game. Georgia heads to Atlanta. Georgia. That Chick Fil A will be open. It is a Saturday. They're taking on Alabama. I, I once watched Alabama play in this building. Roll Tide. Alabama is catching five and a half plus one ninety on the money line. Georgia in their home state minus two twenty five, the shortest money line they've been all year. Fifty five and a half is the total. I a hundred percent thought this this would maybe be seven. Thought seven seven and a half was more likely. I, why why are we getting the discount? Did, uh, do, have we watched Milrow? I like Milrow. He's fun college quarterback. <sighs> I should have lost last week. He, he they had no do, business winning this is that not game a good, last this week. This is not a good matchup here. Yeah. I, I thought Alabama was going to do it and come back and shock everyone like I predicted before the season, but no. With this spread, completely changed my opinion. Alabama might be live to win the game, whatever. But you you can't make this number seven and a, it's got to be seven and a half. You can't make Georgia less than a touchdown. I'm that, all, that's my. I mean, that, I think Kirby Smart handicap. will be able to to bottle up Milrow. Milrow throws so yeah, many questionable it, balls. But are we worried about this Alabama team that just keeps winning games and in situations where you don't think they have any business pulling it out? Sure, but I just feel like Georgia is the one team that. But it, uh, is, is on this, their skill level. Is this a dominant Georgia defense compared to previous Georgia defenses? This is a good. This is a good Georgia a, team. Yeah, I mean they're. Kirby smart. That's they haven't really had to yeah. dial it all the way up. And when they have needed to dial it all, all the way up, they've, they've been, I mean, fine. I want to, I want to take Georgia. I'm just, I also feel like every time I go against this Alabama team, they pull shit out of there. They also have Last a quarter, was ridiculous. They man. also have a quarterback. <laughs> absolutely they ridiculous. have a clear advantage in the quarterback uh, department. And it's, it's starting to look like the George, George. I mean, George is going to be bet Like next year, George is going to be fucking really good. I, they're just going to keep winning national champions. No, next year they they play like a bunch of good teams. Like this year they didn't play anyone. It doesn't until matter. Now. But this team, like, they, they, okay, Georgia minus five and a half, <sighs> and I'm going to bet Georgia to win the national championship next. What's year. that price? What is a uh, bet Rivers sports game? Have you seen Georgia's like schedule cons? next year? Slash bet Rivers. I don't care. You're probably speaking sense, but oh my god, I got to click button. So we're all going Georgia. Yeah. I'll hop on with you guys, but 
I'm what do telling you, mean? you. Go. Feel free to go against us. Uh, I don't feel strongly enough al- about Alabama, but I am worried because this Alabama team. Uh, now you know what? Yeah, fuck you guys. Alabama's gonna Alabama's gonna win the national championship. What is their price? They're gonna win this game. They're gonna get into the college football playoff. This is when Saban uh, succeeds. Dude, Give dude, me Alabama uh, all day. Did you? They played Auburn last week. Yeah, rivalry game. We're all over Auburn. Uh, what did you ask the the price on Alabama to win the Natty? Yep, nine to one. Love it. Let's Whoa, go. Georgia longer odds than Michigan. Or well, I'll give it the odds since I'm looking at them. One ninety for Michigan, two hundred five for Georgia. Oregon plus five hundred. Alabama nine to one. Texas nine to one. Washington sixteen to one. Don't mind that one. Florida State thirty to one. Ohio State fifty to one. Get the fuck out of here. Iowa is one thousand. I mean, Iowa Ch- should be eleven and one. Uh, the refs uh, cost them in that Minnesota we're, game. We're getting Colby. Should we put a couple shekels? Yeah, that's what on we're that? gonna get, Colby. When we're at, Ryan, make a get note a when we go out to circuit, right. get a uh, Iowa to win the national right. championship. Write that down, right? Now. Damn, I mean, right. what? Do you, what? I would circuit. No, they can't even get in the playoffs. They just burn their money. They can't even get in. Well, it's it's your gift. You don't want your gift, Colby. Don't, what do you mean? Don't waste money. What do you mean? Don't waste money. Look, but you now I, it's gonna what happen. Is there, what is buy there me ma- a few of those ecto cool echo coolers <laughs> things. It's I don't know. It's oh, yeah, one, Baja Blast. It's one thousand to one, Colby. They can't even get in though. What they do you can't mean? get in. Okay. Next year when there's auto bids, you can get in. Oh, I see what yeah. you're saying. They can't get in because. So How why are they, they offering those odds? Why I'm why would they not be able to get in if they beat Michigan? Because what, they what have if, two losses, and the the fact that they're number eighteen right now, they what, still wouldn't put them in with the, with all the other scenarios. What if Iowa scored thirty five points? No, like I feel like that they're talking about leaving Florida State out because they're they're not the same team they were. Who knows? Anything could happen. Hey, speaking of anything happen, have you signed up for Underdog Fantasy yet? Uh, UnderdogFantasy.com promo code SGPN. They got college football pickums. Are you kidding me? So fun to put together a underdog fantasy lineup, especially with their college football. Uh, we got Michael Penix here. We got uh, Colby. Let's let's put together a lineup for the game we just talked about, Oregon Washington. We're all in Washington, so Michael Penix. Do we want? Um, they have an over a uh, half rushing receiving touchdown, aka anytime. That's two x spicy. He has two and a half passing touchdowns. You can go over on that. Or higher. Uh, I'll, and take, then, the, I'll, I'll yeah. take the higher yeah. yards. I'll take the higher on that. That game's gonna have a lot of. Uh, so you like offense. you think yeah. three passing touchdowns, Michael Penn? One hundred percent. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that in. What about on the Oregon side? So we can get a two teamer here. Uh, we got Bucky Irving. We got Tez Johnson. Bo Nix, of course. Uh, Troy Franklin. Terrence Ferguson. What are we looking here? Um, I I will say. I mean, I think you probably want to go with with. Knicks, I'll take the higher on three twenty six and a half pa- uh, passing yards because this is going to be high powered. Yeah, offense against high powered offense. The defenses are the weaknesses here. Um, yeah, I mean, I Bucky, like even so, even Buggy Irving is a higher lower eighty seven and a half is intriguing a little bit there. Uh, let's just stick with Bo yeah. Nix the passing yards. So Michael Penix Jr. higher two and a half passing touchdowns. That is a spicy play. Bo Nix, three twenty six and a half passing yards higher. Hundred dollar wager wins you three seventy five or a hundred dollar entry. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little uh, little shekels on this right now. Hit and submit, and of course, a uh, hundred dollars free if you deposit a hundred dollars. Underdogfantasy.com promo code SGP and seamless integration. Kramer, uh, I did not find odds for the national championship game, but. I like the bet even more because guess where the national championship will be in 2025? Atlanta, Georgia. Hmm. Hmm. I see Brian in the chat is talking a little shit to you, calling you, you a, a mush. You were you were anti Stetson <laughs> and you got it wrong all the time last year. So take Bama. I like the I like Georgia fans because they are bold. They're like they are there's a lot of uh, Eagle fan in Georgia fans in that um for for a long time they've not I do like, been at I, the top. I do like how he called me Sean Corso. Yeah, I like I do like that. <laughs> but they're they're like, you know, they, they haven't really been uh, at the top much, but when they get near the top, they're incredibly obnoxious. You know what I mean? Brian's saying UGA should not win and make the playoffs this year. The reason to take them here. Well, a little reverse psychology. Interesting angle. All right. Moving along. 
Uh, this uh, this game probably. Nah, I don't think we need to talk. It was SMU Tulane. We're heading to Nolens. Tulane laying five and a half minus two twenty five for the Green Wave. SMU plus one ninety. Fifty and a half is the total. This is now a one p.m. Saturday kick. CUSA on a- the line. AAC, buddy. AAC on the line. AAC. Two Tulane at home. Uh, w- uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Were you not touting Tulane as a a program you think is really going to start to excel in the NIL era? They they yeah. I or was think that Patty C chewing up? Uh, it might right be now. Patty C some, but but I I think it could be because they they have it's a so private school with a lot. They got to get the fuck yeah. out of this conference. Though. And they're in the south and and uh, they care about football. You know what I mean? Maybe so. they they're one of the teams that hooks on to the SEC when they realize they, they no, need to beat that, teams. The SEC will never because they left the SEC. Oh, uh, they won't willingly a long time oh, ago. No. So that that won't ever happen, I doubt. But the Big Twelve, I could totally see buying into the green wave. Oh, interesting. I think it, yeah, AC, ACC maybe. They're, they're, as they spread their w- Illuminati, any Illuminati ties with Tulane? Sure, I'm uh, sure. Was it- SMU has lost eight straight games as an underdog, covering only one. Five of the eight games came uh, with the Mustangs or a three and a half point dog or less. Does that does that factor in your handicap here at all? I mean, I don't. I probably wouldn't use that as the main <laughs> basis on my handicap, but very uh, nice of you. I think I think you take SMU in the points here because SMU has played nobody for a long time. They're super talented. I do worry about Fritz because I think he's a much better coach than Brett Lashley. But yeah, this is in New Orleans. I'm I'm going to Lane. I mean, yeah, SMU not as a. SMU doesn't give a shit about this conference. They no. moved yeah. on. They're gonna win this. This is a C note game. Really? really? Yeah, they're gonna get some C notes for this champ, bringing home that that hardware. What do you mean? They're moving they, on. They don't give a shit about. They can still this. put that up in the stadium as a nice little fuck Ooh, you to the this world. This is a baby you know? trophy. They're go, they're moving on to the power Big five. Boys. Colby, <laughs> two lay and lay the points. Yeah, that's the play. You stay small, New Orleans. Louis, uh, so this is a big one. Florida State backup quarterback heading to Charlotte. I think uh, I think there's a chance uh, producer Josh is in the building for this Ooh. one. 5 p.m. on the West Coast, Louisville, Louisville heads heads to Charlotte as well, and they're only catching two and a half here. Interesting uh, that they're the dog plus 120 on the money line. Florida State minus 140, 49 and a half is the total. Did, did have you publicly commented about the slide in the Florida State game last weekend? <laughs> did, did we? I have, think I let's was, talk about this. Let's I think I was it. in the uh, office when this happened. You can't. You shouldn't be allowed to slide in football, in my opinion. It's unsafe for the rule of foot for the rules of football because if you slide that abruptly and they hit you, guess what? Your head slings back what? like a slingshot right into Colby. the fucking ground. When we were kids, right? they called that a decleater. Yeah, no, it was got a beautiful hit. I I laughed for ten <laughs> minutes. All right, and he came right back in the game. See, he was fine, and but I think that play shouldn't be allowed in football because. I will say that the the move where you you're you're kind of like last second like if your feet are ahead of the like already ahead of the player that's hitting you you can't then lay backwards. Well, and then you can't honor Kenny Pickett when he fakes it. Oh no! You know what I mean? So it's like, what are you supposed to do here if you're playing defense? We've completely ruined defense. We've just completely took taken defense out of. I think you just got to start making the you got to tackle the dick. Well, it's, it's the safe region of the so body. That's been working for you for a long time, huh? <laughs> I, you know, didn't get any personal fouls. <laughs> what what happened to that desert over over the weekend? I want a dick rubbed on me tonight. <laughs> wow, deep I, pull. Deep I got pull. I got no uh, no personal no random uh, you know grazing the helmet, <laughs> no, nothing <laughs> like that. All right, so Sean and I are on Tulane. You're some for some reason taking SMU as, as they leave to join the Illuminati Conference next year. App State heads to Troy, Alabama. Home game here, Colby. You gotta love that. 1 p.m. on the West Coast. Troy Lane, six and a half, minus two fifty on the money line. App State plus two ten. Fifty one and a half is the total. Two favorites in a row for me. Championship weekend. That's that's uh, wrong. Jamie Dukes did get a did end up getting to go to a bowl game because of the weird rule where there wasn't enough six wing well, teams. It's not right? a weird rule. And Jacksonville State too. They yeah. need enough teams yeah. to play all their stupid <laughs> bowl games. So that's 
They're not going to give them a waiver based on the yeah. fact that they're one of the best. So they, teams. Yeah, they can't the play Sun Belt in the Sun Belt Championship, even though they're uh, by far the best team in the Sun you Belt. You know what? Actually, we're going to change that because the uh, the Idaho Potato Bowl. They paid a lot of money, and uh, we're we're short on teams. There's so. a Pop Tarts Bowl this year. I don't know if you saw. Uh, that. We're going to ship you out. Great. Well, they're not even playing the Bahamas Bowl in the Bahamas this year. Yeah, what happened? Why was that again? It's like, uh, they're renovating. The I fucking saw something stadium. like that. Some, <laughs> something. So it's yeah. it's it's like in Florida or something. It's really sad. It's a sad year for. Bulls. Bulls are so stupid. They're dead. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to become preseason spectacles like basketball soon. All right. So I assume you're going to take App State and, and call it Joey a Aguilar. They're one of the hottest teams in the nation right now. So I think you have to. The only thing you worry about is Troy's motivation because Troy lost to them on a Hail Mary last year. That was a crazy ending to the Appalachian State game. Uh, so I mean, they, they, were they pulling... haven't played since. So there is a little bit of like, M- hey, money this team splits. got luck. The, are hilarious here, Sean. 50 50 split on the bets, 92% of the money on Troy. Really? Yeah. Troy's a sharp play? I don't know, you know, I wouldn't even call it necessarily sharp. It probably just means there's a handful of larger bets on them. But yeah, I, I'll it, take those bets. I like this Ab State team. I mean, they beat James Madison. Um, you know, they, they have some quality wins. Yeah, they always get up when the spotlight's on them. The question is, is does this qualify for the spotlight being on them? Ooh. I think it does for them. Yeah. I mean, what else are they getting up for? They're uh, red hot right now. I just don't want to fade that. They they they've yeah, been on App fire for all the day. past like five six games. In, in general, just they take the points. Championship weekend, Louisville. No, what yeah. are we doing here? Yeah, you talked about this for a half second, oh. and then you. Oh, I I yeah. I, I, I juked. I'm sorry. Uh, you on App State as well, Ryan? Confirm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What just happened there? I think I just I blacked out for a little bit. Woo! It's smoking my weed. Five. Yeah. F- what the fuck just happened? Five p.m. on the west. <laughs> we started talking about this game. What the fuck just happened? Five p.m. on the west coast. Charlotte, North Carolina. Louisville, Florida State. Florida State lane two and a half. Because you know what? It was the slide talk. Mm. That's what happened. Mm. Uh, minus one. And then I realized. All right. Minus one forty on the money line. Louisville plus one twenty. Forty nine and a half. Is the total? I assume just out of principle for the slide, you're not taking Florida State. Uh, no, I'm actually just taking Louisville because they lost. I might have jumped on Florida State had Louisville won, but I think Louisville off the loss and the fact that so God, that was an annoying loss. Florida last week. What can Florida? Florida was on their backup quarterback. They couldn't complete a pass. Well, guess no. what? Louisville can. And, yeah. And but the, I am a little nervous that they're calling for rain because Brahms teams pass the fucking ball. And I think that favors Florida uh, State some, but I'm still going Louisville. I think I think they're the better team right now with with Jordan Travis being such a big part of that offense. I think Louisville's the better. Do you team think there's going to be a big big Florida State crowd there? I think it'll probably like be 50, who's going to have the crowd? Louisville fans will be there too. That stadium yeah. sucks when they move. The no, this ACC is the champion. best one out of oh, all of them. At least it's fucking it. outdoors. Stop it. What are it, you talking it, about? It, it, it you has, don't know good. St- you think Notre Dame Stadium is terrible? You don't know fucking good football stadiums, dude. <laughs> this is not a good stadium. <laughs> that's and, that's yeah. Colby's biggest insult. You don't know good football yeah. stadiums. And I, and I I don't think the ACC championship needs to be played in Charlotte, North Carolina. That, where where that, would you play? That's a good question. You could probably find like may, maybe play it in. Uh, in in somewhere in the the, the I don't know George, I, it's a good I, I don't well, have because like answer. Clemson's close North Carolina Wake Forest Duke NC State all close yeah, just, even Georgia just Tech's not vibe. that far every away. year the st- the vibe at that game fucking sucks and maybe it's just the conference problem. it's the only conference playing outdoors this is the only real fuck shout out to the ACC it's yeah. one of the least Playing electric. Actual football. It's one of the least electric conference. Cha- the Vegas games will be way more electric. Yes. The home games will be more what? electric. The UNLV game will not be more electric <laughs> than that. Oh, uh, I yeah, I think it will. No. I think it will be more lit no. than that. Noon in you Vegas. About. It's going to be electric. You I think it's going to be lit. About. They do. Will they have the slot machine? They should update it to the Eagles uh, slot machine. <laughs> the slot. How's the slot? AKA the NFL slot machine. <laughs> Ryan, I found another NFL slot machine. So what you do know you mean? how. You know how uh, the one I play is like the digital one with the highlights and all that stuff. They have an old school style one that's like NFL branded that has like the no the, the bars and the cherries oh, well, at Circa. Oh, but they okay, don't so have both are at Circa. It, it, are you sure it's old or is it like meant to look old? Trickier. No, no, no. It's it's okay. it's a new NFL slot machine, but instead of like the digital thing, it's like the mechanical yeah, the, regular slots. Nice. I'm thinking about no highlights. Some more though. slots. No, no highlights. But you're doing more slots now. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. It's very. This is uh, Colby. Are you, is not, this not, not one more of, slots? I'm 
oh, that playing I, a slot machine, just Col- one Colby. machine. It, in a million, even just five years ago, three years. By which, by the way, part two of the Colby Dan origin story, and the uh, old Patreon recording that that puppy on Wednesday. But in a million years, would you have ever thought Sean would turn into a slot player? Uh, it was yeah, odds were pretty stacked oh, against you, that. Slot. Yeah, slot? I mean, I, I saw I could see him at that. That remember we were somewhere and there was like a fucking vending machine for cake. Like hmm. a fu- we were in Vegas somewhere. Yes, and there was Playing a vending Hollywood. machine. Yeah, okay. Cake and boss. I I can see Sean. I would have set the odds higher at Sean uh, being uh, into the cakes than. Uh, yeah. I did not order a nine dollar cake from the vending machine. <laughs> like tw- that's a waste of money. Like a slot machine. That's a great investment. Well, the NFL's the the part that got you in there. Yeah, that's just a regular the Eagles highlights. Don't I, they I don't, have like the Buffalo slot machine? Yeah, you, I you don't, never play that. I don't play dancing drums or the mask <laughs> slot machine. Can we get an SGPN Python sl- slot yeah. machine? Uh, definitely. I'll talk we to Derek about, about, about Sean and I have talked about getting, you know, when the uh, the next headquarters opens. Oh, we're gonna have slot machines, quarter machine for, you know, I want I want Patty C coming in here. We'll get a rewards card. No, we're gonna have yeah. the NFL slot machine in there. What are you talking about, Sean? We're gonna we're gonna talk to Derek. We're gonna get the specific machine that sits there and only gives you money, and they're gonna <laughs> share, they're gonna share, they're gonna outsource it toward, towards us. All right, yeah, we're all in Louisville. You told us this was going to happen. What's the price you got preseason? Yeah, and I'm not. Uh, I've gotten several DMs if uh, for hedging here. No, no. Oh, Florida, if you t- uh, we, I thought this would be the championship game, but I thought Florida State would have their starting quarterback. We love this if you if, if, if you're sitting there with the Louisville ticket. Yeah, and here's plus what's twelve hundred, like old Dundee here. Oh, Dundee did did take Louisville. Here's what's crazy is I was sitting, I was going through the inventory of my bets, and I actually not to go back to the Pac-12, but uh, I may have Washington plus three eighty. I'm like, oh, this is sick. I got this nice price. And then the game game pops up and it's three to one. And it's like, are you serious? <laughs> Sat on this bitch all year just to have a little bit of value. That's no fun. Uh Sean sitting on an Oregon six to one ticket. One of yes, us will sir. win. Even though I gave I, I do like Washington in the game though. <laughs> you're hedging. Yeah, because uh, uh, informally you're hedging. And I gave out Bo Nix Heisman at 18 to 1. Let's fucking go. Uh, and while I'm looking at our our picks uh, in the conference stuff, and because like you said, Colby, uh, and let's see, oh, uh, Col- Sean called for Louisville to make the college football playoff. Hey, if they wouldn't have choked last week, I would, would have a chance. Shot. Uh, here's my favorite: is I I was going through my inventory and I had the uh, I had the uh, I got the Oklahoma State ticket. Woo! Ask me what my Oklahoma State ticket is, Sean. What's your Oklahoma State? Ticket? Oklahoma State, which their money line is four seventy five. I got a fifty to one in my pocket. Woo! Oh boy, I'm gonna be sweating that one out this weekend. TCU under seven and a half wins, looking pretty good. No, oh, there's just, a lot of great just touts randomly here. touting stuff now. I, yeah. was, I was talking conference championship oh, okay. stuff, not just randomly bringing up <laughs> win total things that look good for you. Kansas over did hit for me in green. Hey, Sean, you, you know what? T I I M. You know what uh, looks good on me, Ryan? Some SGP <laughs> merch. That's right. We are having a Cyber Monday and Tuesday sale. So, uh, if you're listening to this, it's a Monday or it's a Tuesday, and uh, you got a chance. Use that promo code Cyber twenty percent off everything in the merch store. I, I'm rocking one of the DGen University, DGen University stuff. I think some of our our best stuff. The SGP beanies. Uh, the let it ride. Like if you're going to an ugly uh, sweater holiday party, a bunch oh, of SGP I'm stuff. I'm wearing that on the show. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. Come uh, cyber with SGP. Yes. And the come pythons. cyber with SGP <laughs> and the Python. He's one of those guys who will get penetration. Uh, we're also brought to you by Factor Meals. Ooh, holiday time. Um, you just don't got any time. You don't have any time for. Think about all the times you eat like crap. Is when you don't have time to prepare a good, nutritious meal. That's where Factor comes in to save the day. I mean, flying out to Vegas once a week, yes, it's awesome doing the show on Vison, but it cuts down to my time of helping out with food and whatever. And oh, you don't want to grocery shop. A factor is great. No prep meals ready in just two minutes. Use the code SGPN50 for 50% off. And these meals are Amazing apple cinnamon. They have a bunch of breakfast stuff too. Apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon and cheddar egg bites, potato bacon and egg breakfast skillet. So much good stuff, and uh, you just enjoy eating without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, 
flavor pack meals delivered right to your door. Ready in two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash SGPN50 and use code SGPN50 to get 50% off. That's code SGPN50 at factormeals.com slash SGPN50 to get 50% off. All right, we saved the best game for last. 5 p.m. on the West Coast, Indianapolis, Indiana, in a, in a dome, in a beautiful dome. Looks like a farmhouse. Been to that shitty stadium. The Michigan Wolverines, who have overcome, some have said, some would say that they've overcome more adversity than any organization in the history of the world has overcome. As Jim Harbaugh <laughs> returns from his three game game day only suspension and only on the sideline. I guess he could have, he was allowed to be around the team before the game, but not on the sideline. And then he could be around the team after the game. Uh, one of the strangest uh, attempts to have a fake punishment I've ever seen. Michigan is laying 23 points against our Iowa Hawkeyes, uh, 14 to one for the Hawkeyes on the money line. Michigan minus uh, 3,000. 35 and a half is the total. Let's let's do some basic math. You got 35 and a half. You subtract 23 from it. Hmm. You have 12 and a half. That is, I mean, that I, is, this is an insanely I, I, high total by Iowa. Sanders. I don't know if I've ever seen a spread to total ratio yeah. of two thirds. It's historic. Roughly. And it's, I think it's insane to fade <laughs> Deacon Hill, you know, six, three, 260 pound oh, quarterback. Wow. This guy. Let me tell you about him. Last week he lit it up 11 of 28 for 94 yards and a pick 3.4 yards of completion, <laughs> 39%. What was the final score of the game though? 13, 10. Oh, win. Iowa, look, the, all this guy does is win games. I liked his performance against Northwestern where he was 10 of 15 for 65 he yards. Look, he looks like big Ben stunt double. <laughs> like, doesn't he remind you of big Ben? <laughs> Yeah, it's like I mean, so, he's out of Santa Barbara, California, Sean. So it doesn't that, doesn't read Santa Barbara. He's got a QBR of twenty two point four. Some people you say all they do is win so games. Daniel Jones. Uh, so, some other people you, you say they don't do anything but win games. <laughs> <laughs> Does nothing but win the game. Yeah, he just wins big games, and that's why I gotta take my boy Deacon Hill and Brian Ferentz's last game. You don't think they're gonna open it up a little bit, Sean? <laughs> What does That's open it up mean? This is his final game in Iowa. They're probably gonna, they're going to throw to the receivers. This yeah, game. yep. Are they're going to take uh, a shot deep. You you love the letdown spot with with Michigan. You know, yeah. I mean, you saw oh. you saw. I mean, look. Well, and they don't. Uh, what happens if Michigan loses this the, game? The, oh, that might be trouble. Yeah, it, it depends on the other outcomes. Like, Their schedule yeah. not exactly like. I I absolutely think so. What what's the scenario where they lose and they're out? Alabama uh, wins. Alabama beats Georgia. Texas, Washington wins. T- Texas must win too because Texas and Alabama get in because Texas beat Alabama yeah. head to head. And Washington. And Washington wins. <laughs> and what, and Florida State wins. What, Florida State's got to win too. I don't think they all need. To well, win. just because they're undefeated, they would say I'm undefeated. They have one loss. So if Florida State wins. You have Florida State, Georgia, yeah. Alabama, and Washington, or or, or maybe Texas. Yeah, I'm, I'm and, saying yeah. a scenario where Georgia and Alabama make it. Why Michigan could definitely miss out with a loss. And what better spot than having Deacon Hill ruin someone's season? Also, this this is, <laughs> this is the worst loss potential. Deacon Hill that. most likely to get a NIL deal from Little Caesars. That guy just <laughs> screams hot and ready. I mean, having a name that guy looks like a guy who likes pretzel crust. I, I mean, having the name Deacon. Okay. <laughs> It, uh, it's just next level. And shout out to uh, Andy Bice again. Who <laughs> somehow came across our emails and <laughs> emails us like ten times. <laughs> and they are great. What, what do you mean? You, you mean our close personal friend? Andy I, there's two separate emails from today. Um, this one I really liked is it's my favorite part about doing email every day. Uh, I'll send this to Josh to see if we can get it um, up on the screen. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a meme um, about Jim Harbaugh that relates to this Iowa game. Uh, Josh, I'm sending it over to you in Slack. It is, it is worth checking out. I mean, Deacon Hill, that big 15 to six win at Wisconsin. He was six of 14 for 37. No turnovers. Got it done. That's the name of the game right there, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing at the picture that Sean, <laughs> that Sean sent to Josh. Josh, uh, I sent it to you. So, I, <laughs> so it's it's uh, Harbaugh wearing some like crazy binocular setup. It's like st- Star Wars, and yeah, there's yeah. a Star Wars goggles 
Uh, on the side, Brian Ferentz. And then Brian Ferentz drawing a playoff. It's just punt. <laughs> it's the Madden punt play. Oh, God. <laughs> it really is beautiful. YouTube.com slash sports. Shout out podcast. to you, Andy. Great meme. So why why are we taking Iowa money line? You guys are gonna be there in Vegas Friday. Why not load up on those Hawkeyes? And Brian Ferentz's potential last game as offensive coordinator. What if he's been waiting for this moment, holding back everything? I actually am. I worry about the Iowa kids. I because Michigan's in fuck you mode. Harbaugh's back. It gives them another edge. It's it's not a letdown spot because Harbaugh's back on the sideline. It's just something else for them to do. Go out and skull fuck a really bad Iowa team. Iowa's not gonna be able to score. I mean, they're not bad. They're fucking ten and two. They should be eleven and one. This is like T you know, T C U lost what sixty three. Hey, you're eighty six Giants. Gonna, you're you're eighty six Giants. We're we're, they're gonna we're lose, fucking Iowa. Essentially. They're gonna lose twenty four nothing. That's gonna be. I I do Lay like the points. The, uh, so Ryan's laying the points. Lay the Michigan. points. Yeah. It's in a dome too. That doesn't help Iowa. Yeah, that is bullshit. I mean, you're Iowa. the Big Ten. You're the Big Ten. You talk shit about you being oh it's Big Ten right. weather. Rapid fire, Colby. Fix the stiff. Where should the where should they play this? The uh, you have field? green. You have Lambo and Soldier okay. right there. And Arrow. You can even play the Arrowhead. I don't yeah. care. I, right? I, I Three Rivers or whatever they call it, with Acupuncture oh, wow. Stadium. Uh, Heinz Field. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of agree with Colby. Yeah, I'll lay the points. Sean, you're laying the points. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to take Iowa. Just Sean, you know how to read a market. Yeah, no, I'll take Iowa. It's it's not gonna win, but I'm not gonna back Michigan. I I do also. I think uh, smash uh, on the under. Smash. Really, you're gonna take the under? Yeah, it's gonna be Michigan 35 nothing. But for the record, I am officially taking Iowa. Are we sure not Iowa's to, not to Benedict it? Are we sure Iowa's defense is gonna be able to handle this? Yeah, they'll bleed the clock. Mm-hmm. All right. You can heal. You, 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 I can't believe all you right, of here, all people, a I, Daniel Jones supporter. Yes. Everyone in the chat agreeing played in soldier field. That who, would be sweet. who wins yeah. the Michigan defense versus Iowa. What's the spread Four there? points. Iowa will have a pick six, a safety, a, a touchback. I'll take Michigan <laughs> defense minus two and a half versus Iowa. <laughs> all right. Hey, maybe we can get that uh, as a special bet over on uh, Bet Rivers. Yeah, or let's go. Nine eight. All right. So Colby also crowbarred in some minor college football here. We got FCS playoffs. What round are we in, Colby? Second round. Second round. So we're zooming ahead. Real TMZ approach from us. Richmond, the Spiders. They're taking on Albany. Albany gets the home game here. I would imagine it's gonna be cold as shit. Great Danes, baby. Maybe some weather. Where are you at with the Great Danes name? Great, Great Danes Lane. Because I feel like that's a good name. See that that's when they got creative. All show. Those dogs are shit. What? They die young. <laughs> They're great. They dogs. have all sorts of problems. Uh, we're really gonna disagree here. They die uh, young because they kick ass at life, buddy. No, because they're, they're right? just you want to be old and just sitting they, there blind, no, they, fucking walking around. They bred a bunch of Andre Giant, Andre the Giant dogs, and they die young because they they're just not supposed to be that big. <laughs> they're the big? animals not supposed to be that big. Great Danes, oh, they're like Great Danes are gigantic. Oh, Great Danes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought you were yeah. talking about greyhounds. Oh, He's no. sitting over here, buddy. But spiders live a fucking long life. You know that? It's, it's I mean, we got to get into relativity if you want. <laughs> Alb- Albany laying six, Colby. FCS play. If I remember the FCS playoffs, Chalk was good until the I'm watching end. a I'm watching a video of a, a lady hanging out with a great tan. It's bad. She loves this dog. They're like horses. <laughs> they are uh, like horses. It's, it's too much. It's uh, like what are you doing? What are you, you talking about? You, you like handling, dogs. Yeah. You like handling human sized shit? <laughs> what? That's what you're signing up for. <laughs> World's tallest dog. Crazy. Yeah, I mean, it was you know clearly it was some sort of like harebrained experiment. <laughs> from some I mean, some this is what I'm talking about. This is a great Dane right here, buddy. You get oh, this wow. thing. What is, what is going on? Uh, I got a little commercial here, but I'm uh, saying you get this great. Can we throw this up on the screen? Watch this one with this great Dane, <laughs> right? Watch this. Colby, Watch you got this. Some, you get this no going. Look at see, this. Look no, at this. No one can you see look? this but you. <laughs> Come on, Colby's, Colby's Come on. putting on a show just can for I me over that? here. Can I send Josh? that to Josh? Uh, sure, you can see yeah. if he can play. Who knows if he'll, he'll uh, be able to play it? But all right, so who are we taking here, Colby? We I didn't watch a lick of FCS all year. That's and your now you're loss, putting buddy. me on the spot. I not a football guy. So what I was saying is FC. If I remember the FCS playoffs, because if I remember correctly, we had a bracket challenge and everything. We did, and and we also, you know, we we had a rule 
Chalk until the end. Never good. fade Reese Poffenberger. Oh, that's true. Wait. Albany? Albany. This is that Danes. Albany? That Albany. Oh my god. Let me let me go back on my X feed and, and resurface that sick ass video of Puffenberger dunking. Here we go. Look at this. Look what we got here. Look what we got here, guys. Ready? This is a great Dane. There's a great Dane right here for you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I right? Like, Come on. Oh, that is a fake. I know. It's gotta be, right? <laughs> I don't even pull back. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> right. You gotta ride the Great Danes. You kidding me? In Albany, New York? It's in Albany. Yeah. All right. They're, look, they're not playing in these stupid little domes. They, you I, gotta go to the stadium and win I the gotta, way the way it should be. Puffin Burgers are badass. I gotta take that picture of Harbaugh off my screen. It was really distracting. It's one of the funnier things I've seen in a so while. So Albany minus six. Why do we like Puffin Burger? Are they just gonna be able to move? The Albany's ball over actually Richmond? really legit, dude. They 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 almost beat Marshall. They probably should have beat Marshall. They blew a, a fourth quarter lead. Uh, they're just a really good team this year. You're seeing actually one of the best players in college football on the defensive side of the ball plays for Florida State named Jared Verse. He's an Albany transfer. Their defense is legit too. I think they're one of the better defenses, and I think they actually have a shot. I mean, to go far in this year in this year's FCS playoffs. So I'm all, all over the Great Danes. No, oh, Puff. Uh, uh, do you they remember the CAA? Do you remember that uh, that peak athleticism we saw from him playing basketball? Sean, how do you not remember? Yeah, that yeah, no, he dunked, right? Yeah. I mean, he just an electric athlete. <laughs> uh Cody wants to know, did we split up the six pack? Yeah, this was actually Oh yeah. Apologies, sorry. Cody. No, that th this is the six pack. We just we three in the three up top, three at the bottom. So Brian Sanders saying, Oh, these last three games, seriously? Time to wrap this show up. All right, rapid fire. North, North Dakota D State. Wow. Sean, you know what, Colby? Mm -hmm. no, Sean, I'm trying to give more, the fans what they want. Football might be closer than we think. Oh, it's everywhere. North buddy. Dakota State. <laughs> it's <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> that's the basement of uh, Montana to take on Montana State, laying two and a half for Montana State. Oh, fade the Bison, especially outdoors. Yeah, that's uh, dome team going to Bozeman. Yeah, kidding yeah, me? Come on, that, Bobcat one, Stadium. Sean, you that, used to work at Bobcat before, right? Oh, yeah. Almost took my foot off. <laughs> You gotta watch out. Those bobcats are feisty. All over Montana. This State is here. still an anti system play. Carson Wentz play. Yeah. Well, North Dakota. And Trey Lance. Is, is Trey Lance. So, I mean, right? two of the softest the <laughs> uh, football prospects in the modern era both came from North Dakota State. There's something true. in the water up That's there. True. <laughs> Soft. I'm with you though. My thing, my I think North Dakota no, State had their, their win last dome, week. Yeah. yeah, they had their run, but now you take them out of the dome, put them in the hostile environment of Bozeman, Montana. Uh, give me North Dakota State. Colby's too close to the situation here. He loves this place. Tell oh man! I mean, the yeah, calling for a high of thirty-five. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Now, you act like they're not from North Dakota, buddy. Yeah, I can tell you haven't been watching the FCS this year because North Dakota State's not the same, buddy. Okay, they can't run the rock. Uh, not as good. Okay. Hunter Lepke's gone. Delaware, I'll, I'll fade you guys. I don't want the Discord to have all the the fun plays in the FCS. Delaware, Montana. Uh, Missoula, which if, if you, you hear the news about Delaware, what happened? They're jumping up to the FBS after this year. Is this exciting? Or after next year? Where, I guess, where are the Blue Hens going? Conference USA. All right. Rich Gannon's alma mater, Joe Flacco's. Alma, look, those are better quarterbacks than the Giants have had over the past thirty years. Uh, not really <laughs> sure where they're going to get talent from. They're just like Philly. They're going to go right into yeah. Bethlehem and steal all that they're, Lehigh they're talent. They're like the water that like goes look through out. the it goes through the Philly sewage system and then it ends up somewhere. <laughs> it's Delaware. Blue Hens. Uh, Montana lay an eighteen here. Wow, this uh, is, for a playoff game, I, it's, it's the cold Ooh, weather. That's yeah, what they're concerned get, about, right? Delaware. I mean, it's, Delaware it's, is pretty cold. You know what happens when you freeze that runoff water from Philly? <laughs> it gets frozen. How did Delaware make the playoffs? They got worked by Villanova. Uh, they lost to Elon. That look, they were down big last week. They battled all the way back, beat Lafayette 36 34. Team of Fuck Destiny. The I mean, the fact that they beat um, Lafayette, they have my I'm in on them. Give me Delaware plus 18. Lay the points. They're hot. Montana. Don't let the heads too. get hot, Ryan. Come I'm gonna, on. I'm going to lay the points, too. Well, I mean, think about it. I've been crazy. to Washington Grizzly Stadium. Nobody. Uh, you got, you're raising chickens. It's drinking runoff water from Philly. You got a next thing you got as blue Harbaugh's, chickens. As Harbaugh said, uh, he doesn't he doesn't eat chickens. They're nervous birds. <laughs> Man, I, I that kinda, was courtesy of Dick Puncher, who is a Harbaugh. Any fan. chance Harbaugh has more Mike Leach in him than we think? Mm. 
No, not with those khakis. Leach would never sign off on. That. I'm a big Harbaugh fan. You gotta like Harbaugh, you know. It's just. Uh, hey, time for our lock dog and tease. But before we get to that, shout out to Hall of Fame bets. Ooh, love a good parlay. Love an optimized parlay. That's why I use Hall of Fame bets. It's covered for NFL, NBA. Uh, really fun to use and uh, tons of data, tons of um, great analysis. It, and it just any sort of like prop research. Player prop parlays, any sort of that stuff you're doing, um, Hall of Fame Bets makes it way easier. All you got to do to get started is download the Hall of Fame Bets app in the App Store or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN, get 50% off your first month. Just try it for a month. Half off uh, is a really nice discount. And if you don't like it, you can get rid of it, but you're going to like it. Hall of Fame Bets is the app. HOFBets.com is the website. SGPN. Is the promo code? Well done. Time for the lock dog and tease, Kramer. What do you got? Uh, well, I'm not gonna pick these shit games. Football. I am an East Carolina fan because <laughs> I, I know people probably gonna they, they're gonna be more focused on the big games. Mm. So all right, let's head to Delaware's Friday. not a big game. I don't think so. Not not gonna be locking up any of these FCS games. Uh, let's let's just head over to the Pac-12 championship. Ooh. Not not really Ooh. sure why the nine and a half points is being offered to us. So we're gonna take it. We're gonna take uh, a Oklahoma State. Colby laid out a million reasons as to why this doesn't make any fucking sense. We're gonna make that our money line dog. Oklahoma what? State. What? <laughs> As much as it would be fun for Texas to create chaos in the playoff when people are talking themselves in circles around how Alabama deserves to be in over Texas, even though Texas beat Alabama. No, thank you. Bonus lock. Give me Georgia. Get the fuck out of here. Milrow's going to have a little bit of problem with that defense. Tease. We'll do, oh, I mean, eight and a half points with Louisville against the backup quarterback. Yes, please. Is it safe to? T I mean, six points in a thirty-five point total game. Michigan laying seventeen. <laughs> Colby's going to tease uh, he's Iowa gonna, up. Just yeah, wait. He's going he's gonna to go against me there. And <clears throat> let's see what happens when a team isn't supposed to be there. They take care of business. Give me UNLV up to eight and a half. Oh, sharp. Thank you. I, although I think we've learned over the years that uh, Wong teasers in college are not sharp. No, not no, quite they, the they same. Did not that. work. All right. For me, what do I like here? Feel free to copy any of mine. Yeah, I do like Washington. I do like them a lot there. Uh, you can make that your money line if you want to get frisky. Since you already have a, a position on Oregon. Yeah, can, good hedge opportunity. You know, yeah, you want to you do some, Look at this guy. He's buying insurance again. Uh, he's playing slots. He's get. I again. I, I go, Sean. You want to play blackjack? No, I'm gonna hit the slots. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> the slot. How's what the fuck just slot? happened here? Uh, lock. Give you me. Tell your tell your father about. This. Give me Louisville plus two and a half. Reckon that get your ass kicked. Other lock. Give me. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do. Sean's really torn. I'll do. I'll do Washington plus nine and a half. Uh, for my dog, I mean App State. Are we kidding? One of the hottest teams in football going up against Troy. Yes, please. Well, it's kind of a baby dog, but nice job. Uh, for my tees, give me Tulane down to uh, plus oh, a half wow. here, essentially a pick. That's that's a scary tease. Uh, for my, uh, give me New Mexico. Uh, I don't know if I love that. I like how you have your UNLV plus eight and a half. Having yourself covered in a tie situation for Tulane is really smart. Thank you. Watch, I mean, get Kramer. I'm covering three and four. That's that's pretty good. And uh, give me Miami of Ohio up to thirteen and a half. Colby, what do you got? We're locking up New Mexico State plus ten. Yeah, I like that too. Hmm, interesting. You're going against the flaming lid. It's personal. Yeah. The other lock is the Georgia Bulldogs minus five and a half. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. The dog is the mullet. Yes, yes, Oklahoma State plus four seventy five. Ride it. Yes. Uh, uh, although the, I'm a little worried that Colby's on that. Too. The T's SMU up to eleven and a half. Oh, I yeah, I didn't even consider that. App State up to twelve and a half. Iowa Michigan under forty one and a half. <laughs> what? 
under 41 and a half. How dare you? That wow. Is, I a, did not see that coming. <laughs> that's Colby's way. Michigan of 42. It. Michigan ain't scoring Iowa zero. Michigan ain't scoring more than 24 points against Iowa. 24 so our, zero. Our group round Robin <laughs> uh, parlay, New Mexico state, Washington, and then uh, Miami of Ohio. Is that what we're doing? Well, you yeah. don't want to put Oklahoma state in there. Mm. No, I like Miami of Ohio mm. better. Oh wow. Well, Maction. You, did you not? Have you been listening to the show where Colby and I both agreed? On a dog, something that doesn't happen very often. All right, put Oklahoma State in there. See yeah, now he's got. To this, warn this, is, you guys. this is perfect for him too because yeah. now he has a finger to point. Yep, or two. I'm like one of those guys that complains if a pick doesn't hit. Boyd, <laughs> <laughs> they made me do it. I listened to their advice. Your picks suck. I uh, mean, well, our, our picks haven't sucked. We're all well, my picks in college football really sucked last week. Yeah. You, it, I didn't want to bring attention to it, right? Why not? It's a team effort. Oh, well, plenty of people are in the sheet, so we have full transparency, including Sean. Shout out to the anonymous platypus. Our consensus plays uh, uh, fifty-eight and forty-one and two. So is that good? Uh, that is pretty good. That is fifty-nine percent. I'm fifty-seven percent. Colby's fifty-eight percent. You're at fifty-four. I had. I have. We're a, all up units. Got a fresh idea, Sean. What's that? We start measuring our uh, cons- our Discord record against the uh, tout services out there. Oh yeah, I mean, come on, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> hey, uh, what do we got? Hey, Cyber Monday and Tuesday. Use the promo code Cyber twenty percent off everything in the merch store. Uh, the hoodies, DJ University stuff, I think is fast growing uh, as one of my favorite ones. Uh, sweatpants are pretty awesome. So many shirts. I mean, got some picked on D shirts in there. Do, do we Might have, get the Python shirt in there? And do we have DJ University hats? It's a great question. That's an interesting concept. Mm. Always evolving the store too. Yes. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't be afraid to. to sh- don't be afraid to uh, sh- send in some ideas. The embroidered uh, beanies are really uh, pretty badass. Yeah, I need some as well. Uh, the the SGPN like the horizontal ones with the different cities. Uh, that's pretty cool. That, Bunch of camo hats. Let me tell you that. Let it ride sweatshirt there. Oh, you see a, that? I mean that thing. I'm wearing it you. Thursday. Let I'm wearing it you. Thursday. I'm gonna wear it. The on amount the show of snatch Thursday. that will follow you. You know what I mean? You, you joke. Snatch. Hey, you joke. But, snatch. <laughs> Sorry, there's something broken over here. <laughs> you joke. <laughs> snatch. You joke, but that's one of our better products. <laughs> it is. Uh, shout out to Jake Merch Gob, killing it. Uh, toss us a nice rating and review. Maybe you'll get a free gift card to score some of that sweet, sweet merch. Make sure you subscribe to the College Football Experience and College Basketball Experience. Smash the subscribe button as well for our show. Smash! What's this? What's this? Uh, Chad G sliding into the <laughs> chat saying that there were some big spreadsheet issues while I was gone. Uh, I I did a screenshot of our Veasan picks while you were gone, oh, and, no. and put them up on the Patreon for people. <laughs> and he he's like, "This isn't an organized spreadsheet." Well, yeah, I appreciate really. the respect. That That's means why a lot. We, we got to put it. We got to enter you in the spreadsheet Olympics, right? Thank you for participating. And that is in a real sports thing. Podcast. For the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green. He's Ryan. How about them Hokies? Kramer, let it ride.